Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today we are going to make our own happy planner. So what I have here is the extension pack. It's an undated extension pack for the happy planner. This is a classic size. This is six months. So if you wanted to do a 12 month planner, then you would need two of these. And you can get these at Michael's and I think Joanne and I would wait until they're 50% off. You have a coupon for 50% off or 60% off. I don't remember the price, but they're fairly inexpensive. And if you choose not to use the extension pack, you can still make your own um, planner set up. You would need um, some inserts of some sort. So you could use printable inserts. I do have a few in my shop in this size. And also you can make your planner any size you want doing it this way. I'm just going to stick with the classic size for the purposes of this video. But again, you can make it any size you want. I even have a video showing how to make a micro size. This is actually my first of two attempts to make my own happy planner. I wasn't happy with how the cover sat on the disc against the actual happy planner inserts. So I'm going to show you another way to do this uh, in my second attempt. I use the arc punch to punch these holes and as you can see there the cover does not completely cover or hide the inserts on the inside. That's because the arc punches holes are shorter than the holes that are used for the happy planner. So if I take this off, you can see the stem on the arc punch is short. And let's take this off. Well, I took off too much. <laughs> but the stem, let's put it on here so you can see. The stem of the happy planner punch is longer. The problem is you cannot punch through laminated cardstock or I'm not even sure you can punch through laminated paper with the Happy Planner punch. So either you would have to use a heavy duty punch like the Arc. Um, Levenger also has one but again the stems on the Levenger um, are shorter than what's on the Happy Planner punch. And there's also tool and I have I don't have the tool punch but I do have something um, that was punched with a tool punch and as you can see the stems are short on this as well as compared to the happy planner so those are the only heavy duty punches that I know of the Levenger arc and tool so the only other way to do it is to manually use a hole punch and your scissors to make the holes so what I've done I hope all of that made sense what I've done is I reprinted my cover files. So this is the front and inside cover. This is the back and inside back cover. So they'll go like this. So I'll need to trim these down. I have my trim marks here. Trim these down to size and then we'll go from there. I'm also going to laminate these templates and go ahead and do the punching and cutting so that I can use them as a guide, not just for this project, but for future projects too. And if you're using templates like this for things that you're cutting by hand or drawing out by hand, I suggest laminating your templates. They will hold up better and I think you'll get more use out of them that way. And also, I want to point out that I did print this on matte photo paper. This is the matte photo paper from Staples. And I'll insert a picture of the packaging here so that you can see what it looks like. It's it's the weight of a cardstock. So it's very it's very nice. And I love the way that graphics print on this paper. I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera, but the color is very, very rich and lush and velvety looking so it, it just prints beautifully on on this paper and this is from an inkjet printer not a laser printer 
Okay, so now that's out of the way. Basically, to make your own Happy Planner, you use inserts. They, these came with dividers. I also have templates for dividers if you want to make your own dividers and use the inserts that are available on my website. You can also add a folder. I'll insert a photo of a folder here that I made. You can make a folder to house your, your dates, stickers, or any other stickers that you want. Pretty much any other accessories that are made or designed to fit in the Happy Planner would work with this or any other disc system. Just because the Happy Planner uses the longer um, stemmed punch, you can still use Tool, Levenger, and Arc system products in this setup oh and there's also a line at Walmart I don't know if they still carry it but they do or at one time they did sell these discs it's the IQ 360 IQ brand I'm not sure if it's 360 IQ or IQ 360 but they do have this brand in Walmart I know they have it around back to school time I'm not sure if it's just a seasonal product or if they carry them year round but they do have um, a disc bound system that they sell in Walmart so those fit too so this could be a, a mixture of all types of disc bound systems Martha Stewart has her line so you could include items from her line so yeah you can make your own disc bound happy planner dupe or whatever you want to call it system it's just a matter of punching the paper, having the rings, and if you need a cover, making a cover. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I'm just going to go ahead and do my templates. And I'm not going to do the insert template because I don't really need that one. I'm going to do the cover template because that one is the one that I need the most right now. And when I'm trimming, I'm trimming right outside of that black line because I want to keep the line and just make sure I'm trimming as straight as possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim these. So even though I printed this double sided, if you wanted to use a scrapbook paper, let me trim this up. If you wanted to use a scrapbook paper, you could do that as well. Um, if it's not double sided paper, then you could put two pieces together back to back. I just didn't want my cover to be too extremely thick because of the punching issue. But at this rate, since the um, arc punch is not going to work for my cover, since I have to do it manually, I still don't want it to be too thick because I'm going to be able to punch it by hand. So, Okay, so as you can see on this last one, I forgot to round the corners. So this time, I'm going to go ahead and do that now so that I don't forget. Let me make sure that my edge is cut properly on both sides yeah we're gonna call that good so I'm gonna round my corners I'm not sure if I want to do a quarter inch or a half inch I'm gonna start with a quarter and see how that looks and also I don't know if I should round all four corners or just the outside corners. I think I'm going to do all four. I don't see why I wouldn't. Uh, maybe I better just do the two. So this is the side. Oops. So there we have those two. Also, with doing these covers, um, I think that the actual Happy Planner cover, or when you actually when you buy a cover from Etsy or somewhere online, that they're usually 10 mil laminate. I know the Scotch laminators usually um, accommodate 3 mil laminate and 5 mil laminate. For this, I used that Walmart laminate, which is this. 
I used these three mil pouches and I used two of them. So I put one pouch on, ran it through, put another pouch on and ran it through again. And that essentially gives me six mil laminate. But those lamp, those uh, Walmart laminate pouches seem to be a little thinner or I don't know, maybe it's just a lesser quality even though it's three mil. So it's not overly thick. I think it's sturdy enough. I don't think I want to do anything different than that. So for these, I will use two, three mil pouches. You could probably try a five mil and then a three mil or vice versa. And that would essentially give you an eight mil cover. Um, but I don't think I want to do that with two different products. I don't have any three mil scotch laminate right now. So I wouldn't want to use a five mil scotch laminate pouch and then turn around and put the Walmart uh, laminate pouch on it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the two three mil. I know that's a lot of information, but I just want to explain thoroughly what I'm doing here. First off, I'm going to laminate this and I'm going to use the Walmart laminate pouch that I just wrinkled up. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in the center of this because unlike with you, our usual projects where I don't cut inside the bubble, since this is one piece of paper or one piece of cardstock, I am going to trim all the way to the very edge because this is a template. So I want accurate measurements. So I don't want need that extra around the edge. And although the laminate may... Uh, peel away from the paper eventually because it's one piece of paper it should hold it pretty good for the most part okay so as you can see this laminate is not the best it tends to curl a lot but for less important projects I do like it I mean even with all of its flaws I still think it's a pretty good um, deal it just depends on what you need it for I think so I'm trying to line this up and trim it off right on the edge. Okay, so we have our template trimmed down. So I'm going to go ahead and laminate these covers. While I'm laminating, I'm going to punch those out. So let's get the pouches out. I'm going to need two pouches for each, so I'll need four pouches total. Before I laminate this, I am going to go ahead and round those corners. I just checked an uh, old Happy Planner of mine, and it does, it does have all four corners rounded. So let's make it as close as we can to the original. So while that is laminating, I'm going to go ahead and finish making my template. Now you can use the uh, We Are Memory Keepers punch, but the holes here are 1 8 inch for the small hole and 3 16 here for the big hole. Um, a standard hole punch like this, this one's from the Dollar Tree, um, I haven't broken it yet. <laughs> I've broken some of them. Um, this one punches a quarter inch hole. So if you use the We Are Memory Keepers punch, you're going to have a smaller hole and you may have a little more trouble getting the pages over the disc or the cover to go over the disc. So that's just really a preference thing. I'm going to use the standard hole punch because one, it's easier for me to punch. Um, and actually center the punch on the holes with that one. Plus I want to use just as basic of a tool as I can. Okay. Now this is where I'm double laminating this. So as you can see this laminate is really flimsy. Um, but it does work. So I'm going to run this through again. 
maybe I'll wait on punching those holes until after I do this so that I can babysit this while it laminates just to make sure there's no snafus okay so it's gonna be hot when it comes out this is double laminated I think there's some glue on this laminate but this is what it looks like okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and then we'll go from there okay so I've got both of my covers out of the laminator and they need to be trimmed down and I can see if I can get that sticky off of there but and I need to go ahead and punch out my template so all I'm going to do is line my hole punch up with these the circle part of the punch and punch it out like that so I'm going to do all of these and come back and show you how to cut the rest of it okay so I'm using this side as my guide so all the holes are punched then I'm just going to take some scissors and cut out the the stem area or where the little line is so I'm just going to cut that open And because this is a, a PDF template, you can always use your digital die cutter to do this part for you. So you could probably pull it into the silhouette. I'm not sure how Cricut handles PDFs. I haven't tried it. So you could have all this done digitally if you choose if you choose okay let's get the little pieces out of the way so now we have our template ready to go I'm going to trim these down and then we will come back and I'll show you how to use the template to punch your holes okay so I've trimmed them up now I need to round the corners of the laminate which because I use that's why I'm so hesitant to use the quarter inch it never punches well for me when I'm punching laminate but let's see what we can do make it work okay so now I would just take this template place it on my cover um, I'm gonna use the red side so I'm just gonna turn it over and line it up with my laminate because I'm using the side I'm using the side to use with laminate the stems are a little bit longer with that one so I'm just gonna place my template on my cover make sure everything is lined up take a sharpie pen and trace out where I need to cut and punch see here so now I'll just take the punch, punch all my holes, and come back with the scissors and cut the lines.
So then I just take my scissors and cut the slits. Okay, so you would do the same thing for your back cover. Just make sure you put the holes on the correct side. So you would take the template, you can turn it this way or flip it over, whichever way, trace it out and draw it on. So I'm going to remove this cover because we didn't like the position of the holes on this one. And I'm going to pop this on the front just to show you what it looks like. Oh, forgot to cut one. Let's cut this real quick. Okay, so we pop this on the front. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so everything is covered up on the edge where the discs are. I got this stuck in here hanging out. Everything is covered top and bottom. So that's what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and do the back cover. And I'll come back and show you the finished project. Okay, so here is the back cover all punched and ready to go on. So I'm going to pop this on. So this works just like any other cover. Um, again, the back cover. It covers everything. You don't see the inserts on the inside. And it's ready to go. This is kind of thin compared to what a normal Happy Planner would be. So as you put more in here, the disc, it'll be more sturdy on the disc. These are fairly large discs also. So that will help with that. Um, if you find you have problems turning your pages, you could uh, cut your slits a little wider. I wouldn't suggest cutting them too wide. But yeah, this is a way you can make your own Happy Planner dupe or disc bound system dupe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.